Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve uh, one important uh, conceptual uh, problem from definite integrals, right? So here uh, uh, we have to uh, integrate uh, e raised to minus uh, greatest integer x and the signum function of x over 2, right? And the limits are from minus 1 to 1 right so here uh, we see that uh, uh, the integrand our integrand it uh, comprises of uh, uh, greatest integer uh, function and the signum function right so here uh, we have the combination of uh, greatest integer function and the signum function so let us start so let us first call this integral as i right so the limits are from minus 1 to 1 now uh, here uh, uh, we have to uh, make use of the definition of uh, signum function and the greatest integer function right so these two functions are very special functions and uh, they uh, require uh, special attention right so uh, let us uh, uh, first denote uh, the function uh, signum of uh, x over 2 uh, by phi of x right so phi of x is equal to signum of x over 2 right now uh, we have the standard uh, definition of uh, signum function which says that signum of uh, y is uh, equal to plus 1 uh, whenever y is greater than 0 and signum of y is equal to 0 uh, whenever uh, y is equal to 0 and uh, signum of y is equal to minus 1 uh, whenever y is equal to 0 right so this is the uh, definition of uh, signum function now here we see that uh, we have y is equal to x over 2 right so our function uh, it reads like this that signum of x over 2 is equal to plus 1 whenever x over 2 is greater than uh, 0 right and this uh, uh, inequality is equivalent to x greater than 0 right and signum of x over 2 is equal to 0 uh, whenever x over 2 is equal to uh, 0 and uh, this equation uh, gives us x equal to 0 right and the signum of x over 2 is equal to minus 1 whenever x over 2 is less than 0 so here we have uh, x less than 0 right so uh, viewers uh, now uh, we see that uh, over this integral I can now be written as uh, minus 1 to 1 and e raised to minus of greatest integer x and phi of x right so here phi of x is signum of x over 2 right now let us consider the number line right so here we have minus infinity here we have plus infinity this is the real number line and uh, here we have minus 1 and here we have 1 right okay so now uh, see uh, here we have uh, the point uh, uh, x is equal to uh, 0 right so when x is uh, greater than uh, 0 then uh, phi of x which is signum of x over 2 is equal to plus 1 so uh, for this region for this region we have x uh, greater than 0 and for this region uh, we have x uh, less than 0 and this is x equal to 0 right so now uh, what we will do here uh, see uh, our function uh, phi of x can now be written as uh, uh, phi of x is equal to plus 1 
whenever x is greater than 0 and phi of x is equal to 0 whenever x is equal to 0 and phi of x is equal to minus 1 when x is less than uh, 0 right so now uh, we can break uh, this uh, uh, integral as a sum of uh, two integrals right so this i can be written as i1 plus i2 right and what is i1 so i1 is uh, from minus 1 to 0 from minus 1 to uh, 0 and uh, what is i2 i2 is from 0 to 1 right so we have uh, uh, split this uh, integral uh, as a sum of two integrals right and the breaking point is x equal to 0 right so for this region we have x less than 0 so for phi of x we can have here minus 1 right and uh, for this region that is from x equal to 0 to 1 uh, we have uh, x greater than uh, 0 so we have uh, for phi of x we can write plus 1 right so this is plus 1 dx and here we have e raised to uh, minus uh, greatest integer x and here we have e raised to minus uh, greatest integer x right and so uh, these are the two integrals right so this is minus 1 because phi of x is equal to minus 1 when x is less than 0 because the limits are from uh, minus 1 to 0 and in this interval x is uh, obviously less than 0 and when uh, x varies from 0 to uh, 1 then obviously x is greater than zero right okay so now uh, uh, once we have uh, uh, analyzed uh, the definition of uh, signum function here and we have applied the uh, concept let us now uh, apply the uh, definition of greatest integer function so now here uh, see when x uh, uh, belongs to this interval that is x is greater than or equal to minus 1 but less than 0 then obviously the value of greatest integer uh, x is uh, equal to minus 1 right and when x uh, lies between uh, 0 and uh, 1 then the value of greatest integer uh, x is equal to uh, 0 right okay see uh, here uh, if we take any point between minus 1 and 0 say uh, if we take uh, a point say uh, minus uh, uh, 0 0.5 right because uh, minus 0 0.5 lies between uh, minus 1 and 0 so the value of greatest integer minus 0 0.5 is the greatest integer uh, less than or uh, equal to 0.5 so the greatest integer which is less than or equal to minus 0 0.5 is minus 1 similarly here uh, if we take any point say 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 so the value of greatest integer 0 0.5 is 0 right okay so now uh, we can uh, rewrite these two integrals as uh, minus 1 to 0 and here we have e raised to uh, minus c greatest integer x is equal to minus 1 right and here we have minus 1 dx and uh, here we have 0 to 1 e raised to minus greatest integer x is equal to 0 so here we have 0 and here we have plus 1 uh, dx right so now uh, this integral is equal to minus uh, integral from minus 1 to 0 and here we have e raised to plus 1 so we have simply e raised to 1 dx and here we have 0 to 1 
and uh, this is e raised to 0 that is 1 uh, dx right so now uh, this integral is uh, minus e and the integral of uh, dx is x so here we have x and the limits are from minus 1 to 0 uh, plus uh, here we have x and the limits are from 0 to 1 right okay so now we can uh, simplify it by uh, substituting the uh, limits so we have i is equal to minus e and uh, here we have 0 minus minus 1 and uh, here we have 1 minus uh, 0 right okay so now uh, this is minus minus plus so we have minus e and 0 plus 1 here we have simply 1 this is minus e plus 1 that is equal to 1 minus e right so viewers uh, the value of uh, this integral which is a combination of uh, a greatest integer function and the signum function is equal to uh, 1 minus e right so this is how uh, we solve uh, this problem